In today's maintenance video, I'm going to show you a quick, simple and very cheap way to clean the chain on this bike. First job, take the chain off. Now you can clean the chain when it's on the bike, but you'll never do the job as well. Also, the chain is really close on this particular bike to the disc rotors and you really do not want to get grease and oil on the rotors. So let's start by having a look at a few of the products and equipment that is out there that can help you do this job. So first off, you've got products like this. Now, they're relatively effective, um, but you use quite a lot of it and it can start getting quite expensive. I think that's about 10 or 12 pound and you, you just squirt away and squirt away and you end up using so much of it. it all, as I say, it works out very expensive. No, we're near as expensive as this option though. So this is uh, what is called an ultrasonic cleaner. And if you want to know a bit more about this, I have created, uh, done a separate video on it. Um, but a bit of kit like that, uh, you won't get much change out of 90 pounds. Okay. So, and then my preferred option, when I don't use something like that, is to use a citrus degreaser and cleaner. Now a product like this, you can use it neat, or you can, Mix it with water, about 40 to one, and make a foaming cleaner. And this is the product we're gonna to use to clean this chain. To do this job, we're gonna need some rubber gloves, a couple of containers, some warm tap water, and your citrus cleaner. But we're only gonna use a little tub of it, roughly 100 ml. I'll put a link in the description below where you can buy this from but right now this costs roughly 14 pounds for a five litre tub and we're only going to use 100 mil so I did the maths earlier works out to 28 pence to do this job so I've brought you in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing the first step is we are going to use the degreaser neat directly onto the chain and we want to try and use some kind of container that's as small as possible, okay? And it is literally, pour it on, stick your lid on, in this case, citrus lemon sweets, and agitate it, give it a good shake. Now you wanna leave it in here for about 10 minutes, but every couple of minutes, just giving it a shake, okay? All right, so 10 minutes and half a cup of coffee later, Let's have a look and see what we've got. Right, get yourself uh, a cloth and something to fish it out with. Thing is with the citrus cleaner, you have got to be careful with it because it is a bit unpleasant on the skin. You've, you've, you've got to go easy. Right, so let's have a look. Have yourself a cloth to hand so you can take your chain out and give it a wipe. So as I say, yes, wear gloves. I've got this type on, but I do recommend that you wear a proper rubber glove just to protect your skin, because it can, the citrus cleaner can burn. Right, okay, so give it a wipe, a rub down. Okay, and I'll bring this a bit closer to the video camera so you can see it, but when you see it straight away, the chain is a lot cleaner than when it went in. So there you go. As you can see, that is a very, very clean chain. So the next step is to now give your freshly degreased chain a nice soapy bath. So as I was saying earlier, you can use citrus cleaner, neat like we did just now, or you can dilute it, okay? So we'll get a plastic container. Tip some lukewarm water in there. And I've got some more, but we can have what we've got. I'm probably not even gonna need that and use half of that. Now this will now act as a foaming cleaner. So let's give that an agitation. Got a nice seal on that, hasn't it? And now as you can see, it's now acting as a foaming cleaner. So what we'll now do is 
we will chuck our chain in there let's give it a nice warm soapy bath okay and i will now continue to agitate that a bit more to get the last little bits out using soapy water and as you can see it's starting to go a nasty color already getting the last few bits out okay i'll use a brush and give it a good swish around just to get that nice and clean so our chain has been in its warm soapy bath for about five minutes and as you can see by the water it's pretty unpleasant today. okay so now let's fish our chain out using the trusty long nose pliers can we grab it there you go and once again drop it on the cloth and give it a wipe just untangle the chain and i'll give it a wipe If you rattle the chain, it will, it will, it will jangle, which gives you an idea of how clean the chain is. Okay, all, all of the dirt now out of that chain. Okay, so there you go. A quick, easy, and very cost-effective way of getting your chain as clean as the day it was made.